collectors and action figure fans, it is the one and only Optobotomist coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the absolutely incredible support of my Optobotomist Plus channel members, and one viewer in particular, my close friend Mark, I am going to be taking a look at something that I have literally wanted for 23 years. Well, sort of. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the new Walmart exclusive Funko Talking Turbo Man. Now, Paul, why is this such a big deal? Well, for those of you that don't know, 24 years ago, we got what is easily one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger in Jingle All the Way, a movie about a dad who is very busy in his business life and a son who at Christmas time really only wants one thing. And that is an action figure based off of his favorite TV show, that being Turbo Man. And unfortunately, because Arnold's character in the movie was a very busy dad, he actually totally forgot to get the figure. And it wasn't until his wife reminded him that all hell breaks loose. Literally on Christmas Eve, everybody is looking for the Turbo Man doll. And everywhere is sold out. But the journey begins, and through all sorts of crazy mayhem, at the end, Dad actually comes through, getting his son Jamie a very special exclusive version of the doll, who he manages to actually give to his son while dressed up as Turbo Man himself, making Jamie basically not even want the doll anymore because his actual dad becomes his hero and even says, why do I need the doll when I have the real Turbo Man at home? It's a super awesome feel-good story that as a collector, I know the feeling of trying to get that figure, you know, the one that's hard to find. I know that whole story intimately. Now, granted, I'm not going around trying to find it for a kid. Most of the time, I'm trying to find it for myself. Now, I've absolutely loved that Christmas movie for as long as I can remember. And for as long as I can remember, I have wanted a figure of Turbo Man just because of that connection to that film. Now, even though that that movie came out in 1996, it wasn't until 1997 that a figure was released for it. Originally released by the Tiger Electronics Company, it honestly didn't do very well. It sat around, it went on clearance, it just never really sold. But now, 23 years later, it's actually a really expensive figure to get. It can range anywhere between $400 and $1,000. Obviously, depending on the condition of the package, it's one that has always been out of my price range. Until now. It's July, and it feels like Christmas in July. Because now, Funko is releasing this, which is weird because Tiger Electronics is now owned by Hasbro. And you would imagine that Hasbro has something to do with this. So I'm curious how Funko is involved. But either way, Funko has released this as a Walmart exclusive, which exclusives are always fun. Not really, but you know how I feel about them. But Funko has done a terrific job with re-releasing this beloved figure. For the package, it's almost exactly how it looked on the vintage one. You have Turbo Man flying around in a very comic look. You got the city there. You have the nice window box. You can see his accessories and everything. I think that the layout for the accessories is a little bit different. I feel that the turbo ring was a little bit higher and then that was a, more off to the side, but the turbo ring I think was like up around there. Either way, the art and everything on the box has been beautifully recreated. From the little burst here that says electronic lights and sounds to the burst right down here. Talking about the uh, three action accessories. Some of the coloring is a little bit different because this is a little bit more orangish red, whereas if I'm not mistaken, the original one had a more pink tone to it, but it still looks really cool. Uh, obviously, you do have a Walmart sticker right there. One thing that I want to talk about is that Funko doesn't really like doing things properly with their box. I mean, you can see that this is not even glued down very well. So uh, I'm going to open this, but I did kind of want to find one to keep mint in box just for that nostalgia. Uh, the problem though is the box is already like 
meh. I, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, but again, going to the side here for the recreation, you have all of it. You got Turbo Man, you have Dementor, of course, everybody's favorite, Booster. And then you got a whole bunch of other characters. And even, attention, Freedom Fighters! So you got a little bit of a read-up right there. If you want to read it, go ahead. You can pause it right now and read that. But again, all of that is wonderfully recreated from the original box. You come around the back of it, and it does get a little bit different. Uh, not too terribly much. I think one of the biggest differences is it actually does say Jingle all the way here, where the original one didn't say that at all. There was no mention on that vintage box about the movie. So when you looked at it, it was almost like it wasn't even uh, connected to the movie, which maybe that's what kind of turned people off. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, it was the 90s, anything's possible. But the other difference that I personally know of is that on that vintage one, he was actually holding his turbo ring in that hand. And then there was like a, a faded kind of thing where it was looking like he was throwing it. But all the call outs are there from the, uh, the turbo disc launcher to the flashing turbo lights to the flashing rocket blasts. All of it is there. And again, much like that vintage one, this is kind of a weird scale. This is 13 and a half inches. It says it's fully posable. Eh, is it? I mean, the original one had you know, a lot of articulation. Like the head could swivel. These could uh, move in and out. The hinges here for the elbows. You had hinges down here for the legs and knees. But I would imagine that they recreated that again. So I don't know if I would say it's fully posable. But it's for the 90s, that was pretty darn posable. But, uh, and look at that. Again, gorgeous, gorgeous art. Put the cookie down. <laughs> but for the packaging on this, uh, that's about it. I know that this has been a long, boring intro, but I'm just trying to share my excitement with you guys. Hopefully you like some uh, weird, fun kind of reviews every now and then. And that's obviously what this is going to be. But for the packaging on this, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. And... <laughs> Here we have Turbo Man opened up and out of its packaging. And, you know, as an adult, as a reviewer, sometimes you forget how just fun things can be. This figure isn't anything extraordinary. It's definitely not nearly as advanced as a Marvel Legend or, hell, even the new Masters of the Universe origin figures even though these are pretty close just because they're based on those 80s toys but it, it, and i have it right now uh, there's just a smile that has been on my face having this guy sitting on my desk for the past couple days <laughs> like I said, i'm just sitting here smiling right now uh, we we forget that they're toys and they're meant to create that happiness and it it's wow uh it's amazing that something like this something that is 23 years old something that came out when i was honestly 20 it just reminds me of simpler times this is great funko kudos to you guys uh now he does come with some instructions uh because <laughs> much like 90s toys this didn't actually come with batteries so it does require two AA batteries. I went and got those. Uh, and then it basically just shows you in a couple different languages how to attach his weapons and things like that, what you can actually do with them, such as his uh, turbo disc, uh, the turbo ring, all that kind of stuff. So um, make sure you go through this. It's not anything overly complex, but you know, hey, there it is. And then coming down for his accessories, I, I kind of feel like I'm doing a hot toy review just because of how big it is. He does come with his turbo ring now like i said uh, they actually don't call this out on the package they did on the original one so i don't know why they took that away but really very nice uh, it closes and it opens then you can throw it uh, that that didn't come back to me so I, <laughs> it's not as good as it should be but we're just painting on there you got some nice uh, gold accents on some red plastic but in general, very simple. He can hold it fairly decently. Uh, you can see that the hand here isn't a completely closed fist. So you can put that in there and it rests. You know, it, it, it it's good enough that it will sit there. 
But uh, you also have this really nice boot section. You can fold this and tuck that right there. Again, all of this is almost exactly recreated from that original toy. And because I never had that original toy, I can't do a comparison. I did watch some other videos. And honestly, from what I've seen, it to my eyes, it's almost an exact replica of it. So I don't know how they did that. Uh, now, you do have his turbo disc launcher thingy right here you got a little disc you get a total of four of them you can see some nice designs on there and then that attaches to this now first what you want to do is you got a little tab here at the top that you want to match up with that so you're going to slide that in that will click into place and then this fires let's see oh that fire is pretty good wow um, a lot of times um, new stuff doesn't uh, have as strong of springs as the uh, the old ones used to do. But that is really uh, quite strong. That's very impressive. I, w I wonder, let's see, let's uh, bring in Cronus. Let's see if I can defeat him. Turbo Man! Nope. Let's try another one. It is Turbo Time! No, wait, hold on, hold on. Turbo time! Oh, that went right for his pelvic region. Okay, no, he's like, put the cookie down! No, no, all right, well, it's not that strong, but you get the idea. Uh, so you do get those. This little piece right here just comes around here, and you just kind of slide it up, and it just kind of like wedges right there. It stays there. It doesn't lock into place, really. It just kind of frictions in place, but you can still do that as well and then you do get his backpack really nice gold color on here amazing detail sculpted into it all the way around that's really very reflective very sharp you got the little plug-in section there so uh let me come around here to complete the look for turbo man because it's turbo time that's is my terrible impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger it's better no it's not good battery compartment right there you got the little plug section right here now for the figure itself Again, amazing recreation. Uh, looking at the pictures and other videos, I don't see anything really different between this and that original release. Great sculpt into detail, great paint detail with the gold and then the red. All the way around, absolutely phenomenal looking. Right up here, you have a couple different uh, buttons and things like that. Now, this never did this in the show, but the toy wasn't necessarily based on the actual character. It was just meant to be a toy for that character. So some things don't always work out. Like these bits right here, they light up. So you flip that on and you can kind of see. Oh, actually, that's coming across really well. Um, he's got these little lights that blink. Um, again, he didn't have it in the movie. Uh, so I don't know why they put that in the toy. But, you know, who cares? It's, it's cool. Uh, getting that to slide down, though, can be a pain in the butt. So... Um, that, it kind of gets stuck up there, honestly. So let's just bring in, there we go, just slide that down, turns that off. And then right above that, you have the button that activates the sounds. And the sounds are hidden behind the chest piece here where you can see the vents of the chest are nicely hidden. You can see some aren't open, uh, but the rest are. So when you hit the button, it's... Oh, now obviously that's not Arnold Schwarzenegger's voice. I don't know if that's the original uh audio clip if it I mean it sounds very familiar so it could be good work booster and then it doesn't it seems to be kind of random um so hitting it doesn't necessarily get you to cycle through them all so we've heard those two yes it is There's one more. There you go. So, uh, good work, Booster. Uh, beware of evildoers. It's turbo time. And... Woo! So, uh, you do have those. They still function regardless. And then when you take the backpack, you plug it into the back section here. It doesn't change anything with this, but when you push this button, 
that uh, you can kind of see the little thrusters lighting up there, and these pop out very much um, Buzz Lightyear ish. But what does kind of stink is these will stay. You can hear the the sounds that stays going as long as those are out. But when you do push it, it turns that off. So all the sounds are connected through there. And then that just goes right back to being that thing. So to get it to stop, you do have to collapse it. Um, I don't know, like I said, if they turn off automatically. I, I pro It might say it in here, and I'm, I'm just not reading it. But uh, again, absolutely gorgeous. Paint detail on here. I mean, even the sculpt, you can see like the wrinkles in his boots. I mean, that's really very impressive. Uh, for what they were able to do. Uh, like, really very, very surprised at how good this is. Uh, first articulation, the head is just on a swivel, so you can move that left and right. I always thought it was hilarious. The joke is with superheroes, it's like, how can you not tell that Clark Kent is Superman? They look exactly the same. It's just glasses. And it was funny to me. So in the movie, Arnold puts on this suit and acts like... Uh, Turbo Man. I mean, you know, it kind of gets thrown onto him, but he goes through the whole thing. He enjoys all this stuff. And then he goes up and he meets his son in this costume and he doesn't recognize his father. And it's just this. It's all that's there. That apparently confuses his son, but whatever. But great, uh, again, level of detail there. You do have the articulation. The eyes are painted. I mean, everything looks really very nice. Shoulders here do rotate all the way around. They also hinge in and out, which I wasn't expecting, honestly. So, a uh, good range of motion there. You just have an elbow bend. Nothing at the waist, obviously. The hips do move forward and back, but they also kind of move in and out a little bit. That also kind of impressed me. I didn't really expect that. And then you do have a bend at the knee. So, decent articulation in this guy. Um, overall, this, this thing is superb. Uh, like I said, it can range... Between four hundred and a thousand dollars for that vintage one, and to some people that may be absolutely worth it. I never picked that up because I just never found a real good deal on it. But for uh, Funko to release this, absolutely amazing, and well worth picking up if you are a fan. This is just absolutely well worth it. I, I cannot express the amount of joy that this has brought to me. And hopefully, you can experience that joy as well. But uh, beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you do one very simple thing for me. And that's just to hit that thumbs up button. Believe it or not, that one very small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out. And I would really very much appreciate it. Also, again, I want to send a very huge thank you to my friend Mark, who was able to get this figure and send it out to me to review. And finally, guys, as always... Remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you all for watching and taking the time to be a kid.